Good morning, folks. And this is going to be a quick video about the Pegasus slash Venom EA. And it's epic failure this morning on my account. I'm going to show you. I've turned it off. and But I want to show you and I want to get the warning out on what it's doing. So without further ado, let's jump into the server. So as many of you know, I did test the Venom EA. We, I've been testing it since November. It's been working well. And I went to load it on a live account. And what happens when you go to load it on a live account is you get a message that that is for a demo account. And if you message the developer on WhatsApp, you can get the EA. So I did that. I got the EA. He even sent me the source code. Very nice guy. Had some conversations with him. No problem. I think I'd have to go back and look. It was 70 or $100. So not super expensive. I did pay with crypto. Not a big deal. So everything was going well. We will go back and look at the MyFX book chart after this just to see it. But everything went well right up until this morning. And I'm going to jump into the, I've, I've actually removed it from the chart here. But let's go look at the history this morning. So at some point this morning, about 1438 time, so 238 time on MT4, this EA looks like it closed trades at 1056 for a profit. So this bank of trades here, and let's just pull up the calculator. Okay, so right here, everything seems to be working fine. And that is, it takes, it closes these two trades together for a profit. So 1753 minus 550. Oops. So a $12 profit there. But then it has these trades open. It has a buy, a buy, and a sell open. And all of a sudden it closes them for a loss. And it closes them at 1438. Now, I also am running Lucky Pips on this same account. So Lucky Pips closed a $43 profit, completely separate. Opened at 1306, closed at 1458, no problem. However, at 1438, we seem to have the issue here, and I don't know what it is. I will go look at the journal, but all of a sudden, it starts opening these trades and closing them. So 1438, 18, one second later, it closes the trades, and I lose the spread and the commission. And I'm not going to go through and count them all, but whoa, look at all of those trades that it did for $821 total loss so far today. So I had, I on the last trades, I closed it. I closed the one that was in profit. I've set this one for a small take profit. I do have, actually, I might just have, you know, why not try and make a little bit of money back, right? It'll it'll rebound a little bit. That chart looks like it'll bounce back up. But that is what happened. Let's go look at the MyFX book and look what it did over the month. And a little bit of why I added this to the Lucky Pips account. Okay, so here is the Lucky Pips MyFX book that I'm running the demo on. And I, it's updated two hours ago, so it's not going to catch this epic failure on here, but we've just seen that it happened. What I want to show is what it was doing. And if anyone remembers, my Lucky Pips didn't really trade in November, and then it just went crazy in January. So if we run this custom analysis for January 1st until today, this bot's up, or this account, I should say, is up. 66% in five weeks. But what just happened? Okay, I did take, Lucky Pips did take a couple losses this week. I'm okay with that. That's a whole different story. We'll go over that in the monthly review. I'm not 100% sure if that doesn't have something to do with me mixing the two bots on the same account. Let's look at just the odd CAD pair and look at this. And so my idea was that I would mix the EAs. This is what I'm working towards, and this is why I test it. And I've got some that work, and this was another one I wanted to bring into the mix. 
But the idea is to take an EA like Lucky Pips that's just killing it, but is not very active and pull in another EA with a low drawdown, 1.32% since I started this, right? With a 4.46% gain, actually 6.7% because we went over the month. So we've made 6% with a 1% drawdown over the last two and a half weeks with a $367 profit. So that's the idea is to take something and mix it in where I've got my aggressive setting going on one and I've got one that's just making a little bit of money. And that's what I did right up until it went off the rails today. So I'm pulling this from the, the rotation and you can see it just was, was knocking out small profits, 0.01 lot size. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, zero. Yeah. 0 0.1 lot size, knocking out just small profits and just grinding away the profit. And that's kind of what I'm looking for is trying to add all these together and make them work. Folks, I will go back and do a more in-depth review when I have the time. I did just wake up this morning and luckily it had been doing that for about 20 minutes and I caught it and turned it off. This would have blown my account had I not done that. So the options, I guess, run an account protector EA. I do check everything in the mornings and in the evenings. But if this hadn't happened right at this time when I was checking it, I would have been wiped. So I'm pulling this from the rotation. It's it's not an EA. I have messaged the developer. I do have the source code. He sent it to me, the MQL file. So it may be something that I can go in and edit and pull out all of the, the junk from it and make it a working EA. I don't know. I do like the hedging idea of an EA that trades both longs and shorts and it lowers your drawdown and hedges out of all the trades. So I'm going to go look for a, maybe another hedging bot that will do the same thing. But in the future, once again, I, I did, we've run this on demos. A friend of mine was helping me test it. It's been running since November with no issues. And all of a sudden this morning, it doesn't work. So if you're running this, turn it off. Don't leave it running. If you do choose to leave it running for some reason, run an account protector EA on top of it or something like that. The Venom version of this versus the Pegasus seems to still be running fine. So another option might be to use a copy service because it only runs on demo, run it on a demo and then copy it to a live account if you so desire. But the reality for me is I'm done trying this without, if I don't go in and rewrite the code, I'm not, I'm done with this. And then I'll go back and test it again if I do that and see how it works. But there's no reason with all the EAs out there to risk trying this again on an EA that's a loser. So I do have some other stuff I got to do today, but I wanted to get this video done. I'm going to get edited this afternoon and get it posted. Everyone have a good day.